set. And that has made the quarterfinals here before. Ryanich has not. Ready. He will kick this one off. Mark Woodford and Nick Lester here with you. out on this court having beaten Stan Vavrinka impressively a couple of days ago he was down a couple of set points in the opening set was in many ways swimming against the tide for a while but really did uh, play the big points well to take out the former champion It's something we've seen a little bit more of, isn't it, from Reinich this last few weeks? The willingness to use the slice. Yeah, that backhand slice uh, is a change of pace. Uh, it also provides time for Milos to actually recover back into the point at to home base. And certainly a shot that Philip Kohlschreiber employed to great effect yesterday. And his win over Sasha Zverev. And another highlight between the, the, these two players, Nick, probably in regards to the way men's tennis heading. That there's not, you would think, at their height, six foot five and six foot eleven, there'd be a bit of serve volley, but not so. Mm -hmm. They just rely upon landing that first serve, much more at ease coming forward to net on the first or second shot. It's not the serve and volley these days. To change a little bit from uh, your day, Mark, of course. Game running. Good strong start from the Canadian. First game. It was back in the day when you were playing, and you'd be able to tell me a lot more, but you look back at the sort of early 90s, and it really was dominated by the big servers, wasn't it? This is an era, Mark, at the top of the game that's dominated by the best returners in the sport. Certainly in those, if we're looking at top five, top ten. Yep. Surfaces to do with that? Strings? I think strings, the, the surfaces certainly have, have slowed down. Would love to see them, you, you know, just a bit more variety uh, from week to week. To be able to draw upon the contrast of, of styles. chat with Hawkeye this morning. Isna, first serve unreturned, 73%. Perhaps not quite so, not so surprising. Second serve unreturned, 47% in their match at Wimbledon just six weeks ago. Fair to say he's probably going to have to do a little bit more work off the ground today. Yeah, definitely. And uh, it'd be interesting just to keep an eye on the position of Ranić, where he's returning. Not so much the first serve, because given the velocity and the height at which uh, contact is made from Isner, but 
on the second serve in particular. That's a, an area if Isner does start to miss some of those first serve. Oh, Raonic handles the second serve. Certainly had some pace there. Yeah, and of course the astonishing thing about John's serve is how prolific it is because Mark and I were discussing off air. He is tour leader pretty much every year in terms of first serve percentage. This year, he's currently sitting at 70% of first serves made. It's a pretty potent combination. It, it certainly is, and it's when you get into those tiebreaker scenarios. 15, 40. Problems for him here, though. He's only been broken twice in his opening three rounds, as isn't it here? Shabby, isn't it? Only an easily two breaks offered to uh, opponents. Mm. That's rough. a tremendous dig from Ryanich. He made it very uncomfortable for the big American. Oh, what a fast start he's made. Ryanich leads two games to look for set. And key there for Milos to be able to get the return back. And even though he looks up peripherally and he sees the tall American coming forward, it wasn't real panic. They just rolled the two-hander at the toes of Isner. Perfect start. He's now recently relocated to Dallas in Texas. Had the move there just before Wimbledon. And his wife Maddie, who is uh, John, as Mark says, is expecting their first child imminently. working his way forward off of a miss hit but still commits to moving forward no hesitation good at his volleys Woody do you think I think it's fair to say he's probably not a natural volleyer is that is that it's not going to be too harsh is it no but I, I, I agree and there's the association with Goran that I think that that's a an area that they will focus on have been taking a look at just once he arrives up at net to be able to cover the necessary angles. You're obviously one of the best exponents ever in that regard. How difficult is it for someone like Ranich, who it's not particularly natural? What are the keys for him? Is it the transition? Is it the movement? Is it the technical side? Or is it everything? Well, uh, exactly that, you know, maybe all, all of that, but you know, players, I think, tend to, you know, when they practice their volleys, they'll just arrive at net and practice their volleys. But really, there's so much emphasis on being comfortable moving forward, transitioning with your footwork, taking some little steps, and obviously getting their balance so that then you can maybe launch out to play one or two volleys. start from the Maple Leaf out here. And he's won the opening three games. Impressive stuff. Three love.
time. Sit with you, please. Team Ronich will be uh, sitting very comfortably after the Players early the exchanges here. here. early because in the 13 previous sets that these two have played Milos has actually only broken John twice in those 13 sets prior to this match so that's a confidence boosting start like the move very much paying attention was the Canadian just recognizing that isn't it going to play a, a defensive backhand slice so the ball can't get by him generally moves forward and extracts the error Was a, a, a slight panic from Isner on that forehand, almost falling into it, taking a big cut at it. And they're a little subdued. Two more break points. to win a point behind the second serve as well as so far. And the crowd there, but just a little louder, stronger support there after Isna winning the point. He was saying in his pre-match interview that uh, he will certainly need to call upon them today. Yes. And that's the one thing he has done well, actually, in his career, isn't it? I mean, he comes across perhaps in the early stages of his career with this hangdog kind of look, but certainly in the last couple of seasons, he's been much more, I think, engaging with the crowd. Yeah, I'd agree. So that second serve for Raonic seemed like he was back a tad further from where he was in the first game that created the breaker serve. It might be something that he will continually change just to, to show something different to Isner. No surprise there. Good man. Some soft hands on the top shot. He made the quarterfinals, as we say, here in 2011, did Isna? It's been pretty consistent here at the US Open. This actually has a very realistic chance as well of making the Nito ATP finals in London. He's right in the mix for that now. Never made it before, of course, by directly qualifying. Let's first service. You consider the first two months of the season were 
very poor, really. Barely won a match in January or February, did John. Yeah, you'd have to say that the advantage of playing some doubles uh, with Jack Sock, Indian Wells, was able to sneak through some tight matches there. Just the fact of, of playing matches rather than just on the practice court, engaging in actual match play. They were victorious at Indian Wells and then struck gold at Miami on the singles court. 49. Really is one of the most efficient service motions I think I've ever seen. Right, it's just, I mean, it's just, it's just so well. Everything, just the, the kinetic chain, as we often talk about it, just seems so smooth, doesn't it? The one oddity about it is, for me, the grip where he holds the racket just there. Yeah. Everything goes very smooth. There's a fair bit else that's smooth out there at the moment for him as well. He's striking the ball well. And he is in good shape in the early stages. 4-1 for the 25th seed. Slow start to the season for Ryanich. Lost in the first round of Brisbane, Australia. Australian Delray then really picked things up in Indian Wells. Made the semi finals there, quarters in Miami. Also, had some injury problems over the course of the clay, likewise on the grass. But uh, sustained period of good health. Up. Certainly key, isn't it, to, for, for Milos? I was just saying to you, Nick, that uh, he arrived in Australia late last year after some time off through injury, but uh, just heavy, mm. just out, out of shape. Had David Ferrer's old coach leading him at that stage. It looked like he was going to be beaten. He should have been beaten. Yes. <laughs> but there's the long reach of Isner. This is crafty by Milos. Isner, excellent job. And just sticking that racket out. And quite possibly won't hit a better volley for the rest of the match. <laughs> Walked up the first serve percentage that is usually high, but today it's a little low. 13, 15. So I'm just wondering if, uh, having highlighted that as well, still does Runich go for that second break? Is he is he you know keen on the insurance break, or given that his serve is so strong as well, generally one service break with guys like these two? Mm -hmm. Once one break is enough, yeah? Yeah. What would you encourage him to do? I, me, <laughs> I would be saying the insurance break. Yes, but you, you know, get the set in your favor. 
Well, I guess also, would he, in many ways, you're chipping away at the guy's best shot, right? I mean, he wins so many matches by just dominating you in terms of serve that if you can get break a couple of times, you're just getting in his head a little bit, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, well, he's another close to an opportunity here. Head to 30 all. It's almost two points in this game, Nick. I feel like Isner has just greased his way through. Mm -hmm. And that particular point there, a half volley off of his toes, all sneaks over the net as well as that stab reflex volley. Much more traditional there. Radic leads four games to two, first set. And this is a must for both players, to throw in the serve and volley a few times. Not necessarily, you know, going for a high percentage of repeat business there, but it's just to keep the, it, the opponent, the returner, honest. Mm -hmm. Don't let them get away with just chipping, floating the return back into play. Nice way to finish for Isner. Six in the four court so far. Good start in that department as well. So that's where the wide serve comes with a lot of benefits. At least that doesn't get hold of the return. He's in trouble. Direction of serve. If you're going down to Wisner, do you think you'd have a, a preference? Go, go to the backhand or the forehand? I mean, the backhand's weaker, isn't it? I think it's fair to say. And that's actually, if again, we're looking through some of his service patterns here, the wide serve on the ad certainly is the one he tends to go to a little bit more. 14-11. Got a factor in opposition as well. It depends a little bit on who you're playing. And he's played Simon, Burlock, and Vavrinka. So he's actually played three very different styles of players, hasn't he? He has, sir. Uh, was calling that first round match against uh, Burlock, played on court five. Something a little different for Ronic to be out on court five. Yeah. A lot happening with courts adjacent to four and six. starts to win points like that, you know you got trouble. What a confident opening this is. Ryanich. 5-2 to, to the good. That really is a sign of how he's feeling right now, isn't it? Without a doubt. And it, you know, we're talking about more, a few more backhand slices by him, but, it, but he, if he's reverting back to the two-hander he has to be in such almost perfect position to have the contact point backhand slice sometimes it's just that extra breathing space nice movement there on the to on his toes there it is <laughs> I think it's fair to say it's not the most aesthetically pleasing of shots, isn't it? But <laughs> boy, was it effective. He's got such an enormous wingspan, and it, he's got such big swings, isn't he, as well? A bit more substance uh, to, yes. to his game, uh, depth. Yeah. Not that there's anything wrong with John Isner's game, but, you know, perhaps a, a variety uh, to his game, but on the surfaces, although Isner, you, you know, I... I I think he could place some stronger results on the clay courts in devastating uh, fashion with that serve working on the clay. And some of the baseliners. 
trying to elongate the points, but his net keeps them very short. So, John Isner, by dint of that early break, starting to stay in this opening set at 2 5. And of course, when you're cruising along on your serve, it just provides the opportunity when you're returning serve to try shots like that, and that helped by the movement. Nice and easy from Ronich. We well, played 28 minutes, and Ronich has hit one unforced error so far. Now, I appreciate the points are pretty short, so. The opportunities to down first there is not that long, but still, that is a clean card. More returns coming back over. And Isner stepping up to serve. And yes, maybe not serving to uh, the standard, the levels that he's shown in the tournament so far, but seems to be playing a whole lot of tennis on his serve, isn't it? Outstanding defects from the Canadian. Brilliant backhand up the line there. And Isner perhaps moving over to the ad court there. Traditionally, Ronich's forehand goes in that off direction when he's on the attack. Just holding on it nicely. Confusing Isner. Yes. Game this one isn't it? He wants to ensure that even if he doesn't break in the next game, he can just start set number two. Trying to apply a bit of scoreboard pressure, something which he hasn't been able to do so far. Uh, advantage, Ronich. about how many times Ranich has made the return. Got the point started on the two break points that he's had in this game. Unable to Let's get the point started. That's a good dig. And Isner is able to hold on. And will force Ronich to serve the set. set.
set for eight for Lee. Yeah, it's been seriously impressive up there so far. So he gets into a, a very good tuck position behind the, the forehand approach. Arrives, make sure that he's balanced. an easy forehand to finish that last point. I think in times gone past, maybe even in the first round when uh, watching him play against Burlot, he might have rushed that, mm. see a, an opening and yeah. try to generate plenty of pace, but he took his time. Oh. Well, he's ready to say again, <laughs> taking his time nicely. Ranic on the forehand. He's gone to a big target here. And that is just too good. Don't think that we'll see that particular backhand from Isner too often in this match. Yeah, if you're Ranic, in many ways, you're quite happy for him just to try and hit those all day long, aren't yeah. you? 14, 15. The reprieve was rather short-lived. Two more set points. Game and first set to run it. What a set that was, really, from first ball to last. Mightily impressive show. Fourth round of the major. And interestingly enough, if he were to win today, he would uh, become the 12th active player to reach the last eight at all four majors. That would be uh, a nice club to be a part of. If he continues the way he is right now. Second set. It's going to be tough to stop. He's there to serve. So early. Oh. That was an excellent first volley because it was just a moment of hesitation, wasn't there? Yeah, not a bad point for uh, Ranic. We have that sense that John Isner is a bit, bit more of a, a, a fuel volley. He's not what, some, someone that comes in and punches that first volley. Quite often gives you a, a bit of a second look at a passing shot. 13, 15. From Isner's perspective, at the end of the set, is he looking to do anything different? I mean, obviously a lot of serves are coming back into play, Mark, aren't they? Is that in his head somewhere, or is he... Patterns need to change well, at all. I, I think uh, you, you know he's aware that didn't land enough first serves. Mm -hmm. A lot of pressure, a lot more pressure on the second serve. 14, and they were coming 15. back. Did make the font callers in 11 here. Lost to Andy Murray, you remember. You may you remember in a close one. 7 6 in the fourth that day. It was a high quality match.
travels with him, a big team. Uh, chiropractor is uh, one of his good friends, travels with him a lot of the uh, throughout the course of the season, makes sure the 6-10 frame is in uh, good shape. Excellent start. Much needed opening hold. First game, second set. Haven't had a winner from the Stars and Stripes since Andy Roddick here. Full stop at the Majors as well. I remember, of course, in singles. Roddick being the, uh, sorry, John Isner being the, the lone American. That's uh, the highest ranked American for a number of seasons now. Yeah. Because Jack Stock sneaked into the top ten, didn't he, last year for a short while? Is it a disappointing season as Jack in singles? Energy there from Isner taking that first game of the second set. It's a big forehand going in the off direction, trying to pump himself and again draw upon the crowd to uh, elevate himself up higher. Now this is an excellent start. Hasn't really had a sniff on the line it served until now. Gee, that's a quality return. Reflex just absorbing the pace. Some height. And in he comes. Something to work with. Suddenly, Isner started to make a few returns. Well, that wasn't the prettiest strike, was it? But at love 30, off of a 133 miles per hour, did an excellent job just to get the ball back in. That really out of obligation. And a quick snatch right the forehand side of Ranić. Ranić has been broken three times in this tournament. Be number four for now. We just had a quick look at the coach's box and replay at this point. Taking his time there as well on this short forehand Milos. There we go. They've changed seats. Mm -hmm. You're right. Good shout, Mark. David McPherson and Gimmelstow. Let. First of us. He's done so well, the fashion of a return there. What a great attitude this guy's got. And he's firing up the home crowd again. It's an early break. He's in the leads, two games to learn. Yeah, not an easy ball to return. He's ex extended almost at full range there. And it's the pressure that's just built up there. Once more, Milos pulling the trigger, going for something a little too fine.
Pepino. So the last few games there, Nick, not as much volume for isn't it a play. The returns, the frequency coming back over, not as much as they were in the early stages of set number one. And if they are coming over, they're a little shorter. They're allowing isn't it to take charge of the point. Can I keep the ball? I would. Exactly. Oh. Maybe exchange it for a same seat next year yeah, that's on right. the same day. Definitely. It's been an excellent response because Ranish really was roaring in the opening set. But uh, Isner has Easter bounced back nicely three here. Easter three love. He set. First set, Ranish. America's finest here in terms of the world rankings. Just outside the top 10, of course, at the moment. Number 11 in the world is a 33-year-old. Mentioned his position in the race this season. He's number nine, as things stand. Oh, this is just a complete turnaround here. Well, I mean, he's on his toes jumping around and the crowd as well coming alive so a big wave right now that isner is enjoying Credit must go to Casey Curtis, the man who honed Ranich's serve in the early days. He was the man who looked after his game from a technical standpoint. And he was in his developmental stage. 40, 50. He's always been a guy who's liked a lot of voices around him, hasn't he, Milos? He's had a few of them over a time, hasn't he? So many different coaches. 
again running. Exceptionally analytical in the region. This comes from a very academic family as well. Set a, when he was 18 to go to college, there was a plan was for him to do that, and then of course they decided to change tack and turn pro. Has he had too much input sometimes, Mark? Do you think if that is possible that that would be my g general uh, assessment that mm. y you know too many too many cooks there mm -hmm. um, I think it's just a, a you know matter of, of trusting himself and you, you know that message that comes across from or one individual have much respect deep respect for all that have appeared alongside of Milos Obviously, the first serve facilitates is generally his ability to get a forehand in initially off the serve, isn't it? And that's something that was a perfect illustration in that rally. And the awareness that if perhaps Ronich is using that backhand slice too often, that it, it can't necessarily beat him. Mm -hmm. So why not go forward and quickly force a, a, a quick grip change by Raonic as well. Sure. Very different grip from the slice to the two-hander where he has to come over it. Game is there. That's another good game. For the man who's looking to reach the quarterfinals here for the second time in his career. He's the lead, four games to one, second he set. enjoys a 4-1 lead Ranich. in this second.
One four. And shift the momentum here, perhaps. And a nice preparation, making sure that he gets to the ball. A couple of options on that forehand. Well, I guess you saw that one relatively early. Interesting as well. They quite have the accuracy, did it either? I mean, you're being picky because it's still a sensational return, but. Different story in set number two, it really is. Even he can't believe it. <laughs> Benoit, Benoit Pair just turned up there, didn't he? <laughs> well, he didn't get it to bounce back no. over the net. True. Maybe only give him an eight. <laughs> Some shot. This is really impressive. And again, as you highlighted, Mark, he's just picking the slice a little earlier now, isn't he? And the momentum. He's the one that's starting to make the returns back into play. So there's volume for Isnap when he's returning. Really good movement and acceleration through the forehand. pass to make wasn't it chose to go up the line which was probably the tougher option but yeah, good was approach wasn't it not a bad approach that seemed like there was a, a, an opening going cross court off the forehand advantage running
Excellent body serve, bails him out of that game. Isner leads four games to two, second set. Reaction by Isner on that last serve. Still catch it, catching the ball relatively early. No, it was into the body. Showcasing some skills that we're not used to seeing from him week in, week out, right here. Oh, it's a fair old return. Some pace. It was like something in the Yuri remark. I'm not sure that I would have uh, even attempted. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> probably would have tried to get it deep into the corner. <laughs> Take up a, a, a stronger position at net. It's just superb by Isner. Again, that uh, joy of a service break ahead. Say that early break in this set has given him such a, as you say, a lift. It's much more of footwork. There's more energy to what he's doing. He's just been able to hit more and more forehands. Well, oh, not uh, being put off by losing the first set either. Just a lot of credit to Ranić in the first, and uh, he has rebounded big time, isn't it? Hasn't he just? But he is good from the 11th seed, who's up 5-2 now and threatening to draw level. First set, Ranić. Well, when this match was on the card today, a lot of people would have looked at this and gone, hmm. not too many returns made, and this one is going to be very serve dominated. But actually, to be honest, Mark, it's very enjoyable, isn't it? It's been more return dominated because yeah. it's, it's something that we're obviously we're prepared for the serves, but both fellas out here, at first set runnage, making a lot of returns back into play. Very competitive in uh, not just one service game that he broke, but uh, a couple of others. And the same for Isner, some of the best tennis uh, uh, that I've seen from him in this set. Very relaxed and the positivity just starting to uh, to ooze out. And of course, the crowd very much engaged to see Isner. I wasn't even just here apologizing, of course, because the serve clock has run down. But I think Damien Dumasoir has been sensible here and just made a mistake. He didn't realize it was a uh, time to change the, rac the racket. So. Good umpiring that. I need to do anything silly. Oh. 
89. Just to emphasize that numbers really do bear out the quality. 40 winners we've had overall. Now, when you consider we've had 13 aces between the pair, we see a fair few on return as well, but the winners to unforced errors ratio is uh, very much in the positive from the winners. Mr. Isner is playing the ball on the right center service line. The ball was called in. Certainly looked good. Flush on the line. The action swinging away. Fourteen left. Mr. Isner has two yeah, challenges service. It's one thing for that serve to have width, but it's another to have the amount of turn on it it has, isn't it? I mean, even if you're kind of reading it, it's still moving so quickly away from you. Necessitates an, almost a, an early anticipation. Game well, that was a little more in keeping with what we expected in this match. Isner leads five games to three. So the difference there, I think we see that Isner before new balls come out, it yep. changes the racket. The Isner just waiting for completion of his service game for a freshly strong racket. Isner serving to have this second set. That's what we were talking about, Mark. In this second set, Isner, first shot off the serve, 100% of the time has been a forehand. Coinciding with the increase of landing first serves, so uh, contrast to the first set. It's a bit more of a, a defensive return coming from Ronic today. Probably in general from whoever the opponent is. Very clean from Isner. And there's two set points. Some set of tennis that was in response to the quality from Ranić of the first. Isner matches it in the second. And we're all square here on Louis Armstrong at a set of picks. One set off.
Milos Raonic has taken leave of the court for the moment. Maybe a change of clothes or whatever it may be. Seems to be the kind of uh, dumb thing these days, isn't it? it? Didn't happen in your day, would he, did it? Or did it? Not, not too often at all. Um, I, I think the, the only 10-minute break that was uh, around in the early stages of my career was uh, when Davis Cup had that opportunity at, at two sets to one as well. And you can go off for a 10-minute break, but li a little more license at that particular tournament. So maybe Indianapolis, uh, Washington, D.C., uh, two events that spring to mind that maybe they're supervisors and the chair umpires where it just provided that opportunity for players to take their time in between games change mm -hmm. events it's, it's like that seventh inning stretch almost for uh, yes that's right <laughs> some of these fans exactly a good day here of course we had a victory for dominic team earlier on into the quarterfinals here for the first time he beat uh, Kevin Anderson, last year's runner-up. We had the uh, victory for Karolina Pliskova. And there you have uh, him also taking, carrying a, a different pair of shoes. So, uh, given the conditions that we experience, it, uh, players changing their footwear as well, rather than squelching, leaving drops of sweat around the baseline. Round inch to serve. Third set. Round to begin. So seeing the ball nice and early on that return, making sure he goes out to it, not letting the ball jam him into the body. That's what Ranich was searching for. is a remarkable volley. 30-15. Volley of the tournament so far for, for Milos. <laughs> I mean, that's a joke. Great improvisation there on the volley. 40, 15. Game, Ronich. Well, there's been early breaks in both the first and the second set. Ronich first game avoids third that fate here in the third. So basically just that one service game. In, in set one, we saw Ronich having a few bites on the return of Isner's serve. Just went through on that one break of serve. Isner rebounding in set number two.
15. And there's kind of a lack of pace on the return there, kind of doing the undoing for Isner. Quite make the adjustment. A floating return, not a lot of pace, so Isnap makes sure that he gets behind the ball, loads up well. And he took out Marley Fish in the corner there. So be interested to see if there's any change from Raonic in his court position. Again, fairly deep to return first and second serves. Isner is a bit more closer to the baseline. So Raonic is well, staying in the same position as he did for the first serve. Hold. Big American. He's a college tennis, of course, in Georgia. NCAA standout before making a rather swift and quick transition to the highest level a few years ago now. You're an advocate, Woody, of the college system as a pathway to professional tennis. I mean, obviously, to get you a good degree, but do you see it as a good pathway if you want to become a professional tennis player still? I don't, I don't think it was a, a number of years ago. I think it's coming back into uh, to Vogue. To uh, adverse to it. I, I, certainly when I was starting to make my way, transitioning out of high school, completed my education and had the option, it was probably uh, termed as not the pathway for, certainly for Australians. You maybe just get over to, to Europe start educating yourself on uh, different surfaces. But I, I, I certainly believe now that it is a, an excellent option for players. Yes. Of course, we've got a fair few in the top 100 now. Cam Norrie, Kevin Anderson, of course. John, John Isner, three of note. Ah! The quality of coaches, maybe at a collegiate you. level, has improved just providing the time for players a little raw when they enter college level that four years being able to improve work on their game four, 
Tennis Sangren, another, wasn't he? Went to college, played a couple of years at Tennessee, did to Sangren. Mackenzie McDonald, good example as well. to be the very elite though doesn't it at college that make the breakthrough it's you know when you look at the players that Damn, guys have done well it's those very best college players that have been able to find their way to the top of the professional Ronich ladder leads. two games to one two one third set yeah, one third. set off Nicholas from Mark Woodford here with you over on the Louis Armstrong Stadium. Of course, the stadium that was uh, reopened, having been completely given a facelift this year. Really impressive new structure. John Isner certainly want to. He's just settled into a little serve pattern here, haven't we? Yeah, but this this set might be uh, dominated by you know the serves not, not at this early stage not as many returns being sent back over you be surprised to see that uh, tiebreaker come into contention I almost feel with these two that an early break actually is a way of ensuring the quality of tennis is a little higher because it just relaxes one of the players, isn't it? So yep. therefore you get a slightly better brand, that's the wrong word, but you get a more open, I think is the better way. I agree. Pace of shot there. He isn't a forehand, very strong. Head nodding going on from the coach's box. Lovely bit of steel again. Tremendous feel. And it's two, two apiece. Third set. Probably have to think, isn't there, at this stage of his career right now, playing with about as much confidence as he probably ever has done. Yeah, there's some, I hate to say whether it's some, describe it as simplicity of, of his game, but just that shortness of points played, and yet we he is involved in two of the longest matches in our sport. Yeah. So desperate to find the backhand in that situation. 
squeeze for space. Talk about, of course, the serve, but in terms of return numbers this season, isn't it? Only winning 10% of return games, which puts him last on the list on tour. Contrast to uh, sending down his 10,000 ace. Yeah. One of four gentlemen to have achieved that feat. And of course, the interesting thing with that is, in many ways, to actually break it down, isn't it, to your sort of average aces per match, because a lot depends on how many matches you go. Federer has served 10,600, but he's played 1,300 matches, so obviously there's a few more in the mix there. Legend. Isner, for example, as Woody was just saying, 10,617 matches, uh, aces, but he's only played 590 matches, That's so... Half, yeah. the amount of less than half from Federer. Game running. A couple of loved games for Routing, both please, gentlemen. Third set. One set so on serve, we stay here, three two. Third set so far here on Labor Day weekend, playing for a spot in the quarterfinals. Rafael Nadal already through. First time Nadal's made the quarterfinals of all four majors in a single season since 2011. Consistent year it's been for him. Let first of Basilashvili gave him a fair bit to be concerned about today, didn't he? Especially in his sets three and four. Both coming off of uh, tough four-set victories in the previous round. Maybe something that uh, Rafa shoulder. Malt Basilashvili has kind of been thrust into this latter stages of the tour. First time. What he was mentioning is over 10,000 aces. He's averaging about 17 mat aces yeah, per match. 
Because you've got to remember the vast majority of his matches are over the best of three. Three games on, third set. Six quick holds here. Only sparring out of the way in this set now. Surprising. And he was on it. Hmm. So if I was up the other end, John Isner kind of thinking to, to make him play on the opportunity on this next point. Ranic is up at net. Just give him a ball to play the volley. It certainly was something that he should have got racket onto. To arrive at net there. You've got to be comfortable, confident, any doubt on a volley, best to hit it. He's got hold of a very fine return. And it's just one point, really, if that. Either player can lose focus on their serve. Certainly both were in that tremendous rhythm for six games on serve. Oh, what a massive opportunity this is. It's been a poor game from Reinic, isn't it? Two errors. A couple of good returns, but he's uh, let the door, left the door somewhat open. Another one of these games, Nick, that Isner's done. Brilliantly in getting the ball back into play. Starting the point off. Goes the way of the American. Well, the volume levels increase significantly inside the Louis Armstrong Stadium. Because he isn't now. He's in good shape in this third set. He's got the break the to lead 4-3. Four three. Three.
First move then made by this man in this third set. His life's about to change from a personal point of view. As we said, with the uh, impending birth of his first child. My wife, Manny, not sure what the joke's, joke's about here. <laughs> Dina Soir is uh, enjoying it. New balls, obviously. Yep. I think Isner just, uh, as he prepared to surf, they're showing them, and Milos this time, the one that uh, forgot, probably dealing with the fact that what a miserable game mm. that last serving game was. set on serve to this point. Lost a bit of confidence, isn't he, off the ground, Ranich? And in that last game as well, with the, the, the points that he was losing, just a few extra glances uh, across to that box. That has been a very useful play for Isner. So, of course, we know that the first serve pace, it's big, and the second serve run, it's giving himself plenty of room to return turn serve, but he's not closing the court back after making the return. And that just provides the opportunity for Mr. Isner, is the call on the Isner to try those drop shots. The ball was called out. Even the court position, Dad, strong by Isner in these rally modes. Very rarely is being pushed back. Playing a lot of those rallies from just behind the baseline. Rested coming into this tournament because he didn't actually play a lot of tennis leading in. Lost first run of Cincy. Didn't really have any success in Canada or Washington. Yes, he won in Atlanta, but that was a five weeks ago now. So I guess on one side of the coin, you could argue confidence coming into this event might have been a little bit lower, but the freshness was there. And surprising because he usually does fire up on the North American swing, doesn't he? That, uh, if you look back at the bulk of his, well, well, a substantial amount of his ranking is behind the, the tournaments here in the US. It's fair to say as well, and you could probably say the same about both guys, but Isner's one of those guys that 
if the courts are a little bit slower this year, I think it benefits him, doesn't it? It just gives him a little bit more time. He can serve through anything, right? So from that perspective, yes. it doesn't matter. Yep. I feel like it just gives him a little bit more time. The ball's coming up a little bit higher, obviously, so it's, I don't know if you agree, in the strike zone a little more, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, no, I, I, I do. I think that's uh, pertinent, that it, it just provides him that opportunity to stay alive in the points. Able to stay alive in that game, but uh, nonetheless, it is now that will serve for one a set two on. sets to one lead. So, the one break coming midway through this third set. It's allowed Isna this opportunity to serve it out. Reminder, in this third set, Isna's just lost two points on his own deal. So I don't know if I'm, I'm looking for, for something that may, maybe is not there, but certainly, if you've only... You've only won two points, you're the returner. You've only won two points in this set. That means there's time for a change. It looked like that Milos was certainly closer to the baseline to return that second serve. Another opportunity here. See if you can get some velocity, see the ball early enough. And again, from the height that that serve comes, isn't it? Jumping up, it's very difficult to come over the two-handed backhand if it's up around shoulder height. Very uncomfortable. in there, didn't he? You could see Ronich was just looking and leaning towards the left, understandably so, perhaps trying to protect the, the back end, and Isner was one step ahead.
virtually obligated to find the first serve, missing the first three first serves in this game. Two set points. A simply outstanding serving display from John Esner, who's not tells you all you need to know. 141 miles an hour. It's the American that is a set away from the last eight. Two sets to one. Nick Lester and Mark Woodford here with you as we get ready for set number four. Time. John Isner taking a very lengthy break, Mark, isn't it? Extremely long. I, you know, there are facilities here at Armstrong that, that 
old stadium. Now it's a, a new stadium, but uh, I just don't understand the length of time to change shirt and shorts. Oh. Out there practicing his surf, oh, just trying to stay loose. Yep, sensible move. It's all about right. time now, you know, time in between points. Type 151 that's been brought in, and oh, heavens, are we headed to where they're being monitored on the when they change their attire after the set? Right, finding himself in a position of having to win the next couple of sets. Love 15. But good, good thing for him is not uh, what, less than two hours of tennis. You would think that uh, relatively quick points as well. But there's plenty of left in that tank for the Canadian. Yeah, he's actually played 20 matches in his career where he's found himself in this position. Down two sets to one. Five. On a hazard, I guess, as to how many is one of those 20. Without looking at my I, computer. I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I'm trying not to look over there. You're allowed, but uh, I, I would say less than 50%. Yeah, seven. He's won seven of the 20 matches. He's been down two sets to one. Just looks visually that it's, uh, it's certainly there that he two sets to one down, that he hasn't shaken off, that, that uh, he's in deficit right now, Milos. Need to see some improved body language in between points. A good hit. Well, he fashioned a return by Herco by Cook. And he was able to get himself some time here. It certainly was a nut for Milos. Took his time there, but that's where understanding court position, after you've exposed yourself, you've got to try and cover as much as you can. You can't cover every angle, but he hovered from where he hit the ball. And there was so much territory for Isner to make the pass. We see it a lot, don't we, in that position. That inside-in approach is a dangerous one, isn't it? You do leave yourself, as you say, having to cover a fair bit of court. playing against Holland, I believe, in the next round of Davis Cup. Yeah, that's right. Team that provides a, a real opportunity to go deep in the competition. Certainly changing next year. Yeah. Davis Cup format, but Canada, you would think, with the, a couple of youngsters yes. that have arrived on the scene, and if Ranić is part of that team, along with Vasek Pospisil. Danny Nesta having uh, just about to retire. 
think he may have officially retired after this tournament. Maybe playing one more. In fact, he's playing the Davis Cup, isn't he? That's going to be his last tournament. The Davis Cup playoff, as you say. here for Usna. See the uh, frustration that he's feeling. Send him off. Love. And Reinich on the early charge here. And anticipating this serve wide. Was out there with enough time. He didn't overkill, overplay the two backhand passes. Just sorry, the one backhand pass up the middle and by the forehand with footwork. It was a big wide serve, wasn't it, as well from Isner? Made in this game. Oh, yes. Well, a couple of occasions, Isn't has looked to serve and volley in the game and has failed to land the required blow. It's two luck. And really out of nowhere, talking about on the as they changed ends of the first game. It, Desire to see some improved body language by Raonic and break serve to love. That was a tiny boost, wasn't it? He's been fairly subdued for the last couple of sets. I do think he's not there. Opting to go with the slice. Thought his man was coming forwards because that was a fairly timid one. Turn just not up to scratch. Too short. Give it the treatment. Game 
It's an excellent game. And this roller coaster of a match has just taken another sizable shift in direction. It's three love for the Canadian. Down love three in this fourth set. Oh, it was certainly one of his best returns of the day, but. Isner was after the drop shot very early. That's a little more like it. Order restored. As the shakes his head, he knows he's got himself in a bit of a hole here. That's a little serve at 3 1. Crowds, of course, in that transitional phase. Arthur Ashe has uh, day sessions finished, the night session are coming in. The, this is the place to be right now. There's a singles match going on on grandstand as well. Throngs of people around uh, this weekend. Yeah. That was a little cheap. Close to the line, did it either? No, think a big target and and, and even just a, a couple of moves behind, take That's the pace off, enough. even drift to net. Outstanding. Tremendous vision. Just flowing nicely now for Brunich. A new shirt. 
It's almost like the return of Milos from set number one. You can see the rotation of the ball once it hit the surface, just cutting away. Yeah, he's got a swagger back of that, there's no doubt. The lift came early in this setup, which was much needed. And it's Vranich ahead, 4-1, as we seemingly head for a fifth. Makes his way back out. With work to do to avoid going to a fifth set for a second time at these championships. Of course, he beat Nicholas Jarry in the second round in five. Never a good sign, is it, to Nick, when ball starts to shank off of the frame. Back to back forehands. Just, it's just unnerving. You start to think, about, you know, am, I, am I into position? Am I accelerating through the ball? to win a point on his second serve in this fourth set. They may have to change seats again. A little more quiet from the coach's box. Something pretty special. It's a little grimace. Certainly looked like it. And is now somewhat hanging on in this fourth set under a fair degree of pressure having been broken early. Very deep to return the second serve there, wasn't he, Ranich? 
Still the variation. Just uh, changing it up. Helped being a little closer to pick up the service break in this fourth set. And at the back in the blue there, Davide Sanguinetti. He's helping Milos this week. Former Italian player. It's a good ball. Yeah, that's a tremendous strike. New balls, please. Not easy off a ball. Sticking in that low, but Isner holds on and closes the gap. Ranić leads four games to two. Fourth Certainly was uh, an, an excellent forehand. The backhand had some ziz from Ranić. Was able to get some body weight into it. Shoulder lean. Really good atmosphere inside the Louis Armstrong right now. These two have never played a five-set match against one another. They've never actually played a match that hasn't involved a tie-break, which could well tell you a, a little bit about the surface this week. Read your own conclusions or make your own conclusions into that, but Thank you. it doesn't matter. Ryan Edge serving 4-2. Feature really, Woody has been the breaks have come early in each set, haven't they? For the most part, they have, and been not to making as many serves. We talking about their high percentage of first serves into play and the win rate. That's been the amount of returns made by both players to help engineer that break. He's serving. And the person that has picked up that early service break has finished the set with uh, with ease. It's uh, comfortable service holds. Yeah, they have been able to shut the gates and keep the opportunities to a fair minimum. Reinich closing in on this fourth set. He leads 5-2. Mentioning Milos Raonic, he's come back from two sets to one down. He's done it on seven occasions. The most famous one, of course, being at Wimbledon when he beat Roger Federer from that position in the round of 16. Semi-finals, excuse me. Of course it was. Threatening to draw level here. He's now serving 2-5. time from this end and he's been foot faulted <laughs> that's 
some half volley. Just relying upon his reaction. Making sure the racket gets down there, just absorbing the pace. Swiss swiftly moving to 40 love. Clinical serving. This has been a little bit more of what we expected coming into this match. Returns at a premium. It's been the one break that has been enough in each of the first three sets. David McPherson. Watching his charge, he must break. Please. She got a little lucky, but fortune favoured the brave there. Tony was and just coming in, asking the question, the great depth, the ball staying nice and low. And hard to get pie. Man of his reach. Wingspan. Ranish didn't fancy that one, did he? <laughs> it was a little closer than I thought he might have been. <laughs> he lost the four points in total in this fourth set on serve. Well, Ranić responding to the return of serve, going to that small target once again. Never really felt he was set, did you? Either the ball was kind of chasing him a little bit. It's a tough proposition. Serve and volley there, I think. shot. Ranić almost grinding away from the back of the court and getting himself in all sorts of trouble. Was never never looked like that Ranić was trying to be proactive in that rally. Just waiting for Isner to react off of his shots. Put himself in a hole. Isner two from five on the break points today. Where did that come from? 
staggering stuff from Milos Raonic. Well, not just the backhand pass, Nick, but this forehand, to be able to hang on to that shot. And not a lot of opening there. We'll have a look at that balance. The volume being turned up another notch here inside the Louis Armstrong. Thank you, players are ready. <laughs> right point number two. Very well indeed. Because Isnet was able to find the back end. That was the first rule of thumb, wasn't it? Off the return. Out of, out of obligation, get the ball back into play. Almost wrong footed with the forehand, having to, to strike it off balance. a little late isn't it the ball was scored it certainly looked late well to the naked eye certainly the ball had gone long and then the finger was sent up well it matters not now but Daniel Dumasois perhaps just a little lenient the upshot is we've got set point What a brilliant effort from Milos Raonic, who ensures this will have a fifth and final set here on Louis Armstrong. The Canadian draws level at two sets apiece. Two sets on. So, more drama here on the Louis Armstrong because Milos Raonic, you may just have heard, and he's going to be receiving a medical timeout. Well, Woody, you just overheard the conversation, I think, uh, in earlier, and uh, some sort of spasm, I believe. Yeah, exactly. They're in conversation with uh, Clay, the ATP trainer. And just saying that when uh, he went to step up, push off, a few spasms, whether that was happening in the last change events. assessment period uh, went on and now uh, for the treatment of two minutes Wayne McEwen there as well he's overseeing this uh, situation So well, he probably should bring out the five set records at this stage of the, the match. I can tell you that uh, Isner has not got a great five set record. Of course, there was a period where he really struggled in these longer matches. He's uh, 10 and 18 on his career, including the one here. He, of course, had a Nicholas Jarry. On the other hand, Ryanic, surprisingly, perhaps has only played 15 five set matches uh, over the course of his career. Has it played one since Wimbledon last year? Looks like Clay has worked his magic. Well, Ryan, it will certainly hope so. Just asking. Okay. So heard that. Clay's going to hang around. Possibly a little extra work on the next change events. Yeah, of course, the official rule there is that, of course, once you've had the medical summit, you can have two more treatments, I believe. It's, I think that's right, Woody, isn't it? During the change Close events. <laughs> so all to play for here in this fifth and final set, a, a spot in the quarterfinals, up for grabs. 
Thank you. Who's winning this one? Still going to hedge my original choice of Isna. The closer it gets, the more atmospheric, crowd support. You've got to think that the home crowd's worth a point or two here, oh, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Play many five setters, Woody, when uh, you're at home. Not enough of them at home. Played uh, a good majority of them away. First serve percentage will be critical in this decider, one would imagine. Just see Ranic going back deeper to return this serve. Big dividends, isn't it? Yeah. It's not trying to, uh, with that, that uh, court position you're not trying to get the ball on top of the bounce serving at 40 30 the big American with roots in North Carolina That is the good counter play to the deep position off the return. Excellent first volley. Yeah, it's a good hold. By themselves. Little edge as well, perhaps uh, getting that first game in the, the vital fifth set. You can hear the crowd on the change of ends. Obviously, they're going to get more involved regardless of who's out there, but because it's the American. Pressure now on the Canadian. Thank you. Let first service. Right, she's ranking. Win or lose today will be once again inside the top 20. It'll be around right about the 15 mark. Oh, brilliant pass off his weaker wing. Love 
to the short ball up the middle of the court. In comes Raudic. Doesn't really get that much weight of shot. Not a lot of direction either. Ask the question, but uh, still has to make it, isn't it? What a good move forwards that was. It completely changed the dynamic of the rally, didn't it, from Reinich's perspective? And within a, a blink of an eye in that point, going from defence into offence. Reinich thinking of perhaps just slicing the ball back down the middle. Suddenly, that option was taken away from him. <laughs> yes. What a sensational return. Now 40. And a fair few of them inside the Louis Armstrong are out of their seats. It just provides a buffer now, doesn't it? At a love 43 opportunities. I think that maybe if he gets the ball back in, he can have the luxury Please. of having a a solid strike. Couldn't quite get enough elevation on the lob, could he? Big thumbs up, though. Up the first serve, 128 miles per hour. Once again, Isner able to get the ball back over. He hasn't had much success with that slider wide in this game, has he? On this juice side. Ah! 30, 40. That was an opportunity for the American, wasn't it? Clearly looking for about the body. Mm -hmm. Just outside of that within strike range of isn't it he was right on it there where does he go One of the biggest points of the match so far thank you Again, choice here for Ronich. is he trying Kick it out wide, get Isner off the court. It could prove to be a catastrophic double fault. It may be early in the fifth, but that is a massive boost for the American number one. And the pressure just building up there. It looked like a quick swing from Runnage. There wasn't that slight pause, knee bend over the top of it and into the net. Interestingly, in that game, he made four of the six first serves as well, so it wasn't as though he gave his not a whole lot to work with. <laughs> An adrenaline rush evident of that first serve. Monstrous delivery. Edges him ahead in the ace race as well, 18 to 17. This is hammering home the advantage. Salt in the wounds of the Canadian right now. All four first serves landed in the game. The American fired up. Understandably, he leads three love in the fifth. He's no leads.
three games to love. Final set. Damien Dumasoir, the change of ends in the chair, just warning John Isner about any kind of potential coaching that might be going on. Isner batting it back, saying there was nothing of the sort Thank that you. was happening in a kind manner. Soft warning. Ranich, love three. Reinich's perspective in this situation, Woody, is he just thinking one point at a time? Just rebuild? It certainly is. I mean, the whole serve, he's just got to stay within touch. Close proximity. Plenty of bite on that slice. has served to the fore and as much as he, he has obviously looking perhaps to try and open the court up for himself isn't he but again it is the better return of Isner it's undeniable well that was a pretty good back end 30, 50. Well, full credit to uh, Isner today he's remained firm with his court position returning serve making contact and was just landing inside the baseline. Some solid returns going back. 14, 15. Took a bit of pace off there. You can see just 118 miles an hour. Just forced his net to slightly mistime the ball. backhands Nick that throughout today's match we've seen predominant backhand slices on that type of a backhand from Milos trying to drive it up the line not quite balanced enough so he's on the board in this third set this fifth set excuse me very deep position to return this serve. Oh, 
15. It's a quality return. Deny that. Yes, I'm trying to think back to what the times that he has broken. I think he's won the opening point with similar returns, just being able to get it low. The oncoming, isn't it? Just saw him out of the corner of his eye there, didn't he? You just got the sense. So it'll be interesting to see what he does here as well. Brave play by Isna. Moving forward behind the second serve. And the first volley not struck with a lot of confidence. It was almost a, a push into the open court. We're surprised to see it go as deep as it did. But ready for the next volley. Good movement off the ball, wasn't it? Good anticipation. Ah! Missed both serves to open this game. David McPherson has talked a lot about how he wants Isner to play. Feels that he can get him playing in the right way, being proactive on the court, taking his opportunities, seizing on anything short. And at this critical juncture as well, even more so. Just couldn't get a full hit on the ball. 30, 50. Just had the wrong grip there. Yeah. Not sure whether he could have done anyway, but but it just is up for forcing the action there. You know, asking the question. You know, if you can come up with those incredible passing shots, then maybe pull back oh, from coming yeah. forward. That's a solid game. Yeah, really. Not often you see Isner play a full game of serve and volley, but it worked a trick. The American in command at 4-1 in the fifth. Four games to one, final set. Deep in this fifth and final set then here on the Louis Armstrong Stadium. And it's John Isner with the initiative. The night session about to get underway on the Arthur Ashe Stadium. Got tennis over there this evening. We've got Stevens and Mertens first up and then Del Potro and Chorich will be rounding off the action under the lights here on Sunday night. Nick Lester alongside Mark Woodford here. Sizable task in front of this man. He's serving at 1-4. Saying earlier, uh, Nick, about David McPherson's instructions or desire for it, Isner to be searching to proactive tennis, playing a very positive manner. And, and when you're in a vital fifth set, 
you know, using your your size, just blanketing the the net. What a return, a serve. really is swimming against the tide now. On a start like this. Already up a service break. Again, anything short from Ronich. Might see Isner try to move forward once again. Oh. He had a good look at that, didn't he? And that's a not a no angry forehand frustration at, at all. That's I'm up four four one, feeling yeah. pretty good right here. Sit, sights the ball early. Absolutely. Could have been curtains. Quit on that one for being really critical. Easy from here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's almost like the, the ball didn't come through what he was expecting. It over the top of it. Yeah. Not out of danger yet for the Canadian. Yeah. Far from it. This to all intents and purposes a match point. long match. I mean, you never expect it to be anyway, but just two hours and 56 minutes. Last night, of course, we hit the four-hour mark. I say last night, it was actually this morning. <laughs> A shot from Isnap off that forehand wing. And it's not really picking up the direction down the line. about as a pressure-filled bounce smash as you could wish to see. You dealt with it well. He got a lot of slice, didn't he? No control. I don't think you'd see a better bounce smash than that one, given the circumstances. I don't think he's there. Is now hunting for that finishing line sooner. And the serve to the four in though is not helping him out, is it? Isn't it just sitting there waiting for it? It's a quality return. Can he convert here?
little applause there from coach's box. There was nothing wrong with the way that he played that return of serve. He has struggled to defend the second in this fifth set. He's only won a quarter of the points behind it. found a way to do just that. New balls called for. Both players will... Uh, He's the lead, four games to two, final set. He's now will certainly look for a new racket. Maybe the fullest I would have thought this new stadium has been over the course of these championships. Quick towel off. Let's just see if Isner takes a, a fresh hat. Not only does he have a, an abundance of shirts in his bag. There we go. You can see at least six caps he takes onto the court. Just leaves him out to dry as he changes ends. So how many players, Nick, do you think are out there that on the tour that this return would have got by? Probably 98%. And actually the strength in that situation to control your body, I mean, you know more than about anyone about that, Mark, but yeah. I mean, then to have the racket head control at the end of your range. Phenomenal shot. 30 left. Very strong fifth set from Isner, isn't it? Allowed Ranic much at all. Sensational serving from the American number one. Who moves within the game of reaching the quarterfinals here at the US Open for a second He's time. Five He's 5-2 to, to the good. Final set.
time. Sun setting here in New York on a glorious evening. It might be that much more glorious for John Isner. This has been a really has been a near perfect fifth set from the 11 seed here. Reinich serving a stay in the match. Mr. Isner is playing the ball on the left center service line. The ball will score in. All right, a chance for Isner here, second serve. That's a good hit. Well, from the moment that the serve came down, the, the little steps that Isner had to take in order to get out of the way and take the forehand. Mm -hmm. All about being proactive. Nasty little stab at the return comes up golden. Yeah, can't do a lot about that. Rough justice. set by America's finest. And home interest in the men's singles might be about to be prolonged. Thank you. Isn't it? Three match points. 15, 14. is a U.S. Open quarter finalist for the second three, time six, in his six, career. Three, six, four, three, six, what a battle that 16. was. He wins the Battle of the Giants in five fantastic sets. 6-2 in the decider. And a beaming John Isner saluting the crowd for their support. Had to come out against a very spirited Milos Raonic. Started off like a racehorse in that first set, Raonic. But the door was open early in set number two, and Isner certainly played very relaxed tennis all the way through sets two, three, and four. And a comfortable fifth set. Not to be for the Canadian. But uh, let's hope we see him closer to the top ten by the end of the season. It's distinctly possible, remember. He's got no points to defend for the rest of the season. So hopefully for him, it'll be onwards and upwards if he can stay healthy. We'll be hearing from Isna momentarily. What a fine effort that was. Got the early break in the fifth. Made more returns was uh, brave, wasn't he, as well? Yeah, there, there just seemed to be a bit more willingness that 
once some of the rallies started to take shape, that when offered a short ball, he was going to be coming forward. Ronic tended to hang back yep. on some of those bigger points. So the 11th seed makes his way through. We'll be hearing him from him very shortly. Marty Fish is standing by to ask the questions. And John, great job. And you lost that fourth set. You got off to a great start in the fifth set. What did you tell yourself at the change events? Well, um, and it, I think it was important that I was serving first in that fifth set, so I was able to hold serve. I just stayed positive. This match had a lot of ups. It had a lot of downs. But the most important part was this crowd kept me in it. It was uh, fantastic. And hey. this, uh, this atmosphere here is it's like a jungle. It was amazing. So thank you. Now you've played a lot of matches out here on the old Louis Armstrong. You and I have. Talk about the differences between this stadium now and this crowd being an American playing in front of them. Wow. This is, uh, I mean, this is why us tennis players train so hard. This is why I train so hard to be in a match like this in front of a crowd like this and to be able to win. It makes it so special. Um, <laughs> You've made your second quarterfinal at the U.S. Open. Play the winner of Juan Martín del Potro and Borna Chorich. Tell me about uh, some of the stuff that they present. Well, they're uh, both excellent players. You know, I've been around forever, so I've played them both a few times. But you know, why not me? So let's keep going. And lastly, there's uh, one body missing in your box. Your wife, Maddie, she's at home, she's pregnant, yeah. two weeks away from giving birth to your first child, a baby girl. Is there any way that we can get you to tell us the name? We won't tell anyone. Just tell us, uh, reveal the name for us. I uh, wish I could do that. Maddie would kill me. Um, so we're going to keep that secret, but yeah. Having a kid soon. Maddie, if you're watching, I love you. I'll be back soon. Ladies and gentlemen, John Isner. Well done. No name, but there is one name into the quarterfinals, and that, of course, is uh, John Isner. It was uh, a tremendous performance. Any reason he can't go any further, Woody? How do you see him going in that round? Uh, it certainly can, the way that he's been uh, playing through the tournament here. And, uh, and obviously discussing about the support that uh, is shown by the American crowd. Certainly very winnable against whoever is there, Chorich or Del Potro. Obviously Del Potro in some fine form and who have plenty of support if it is uh, Juan Martin that's there. Really well. That'll do it from us. Hope you've enjoyed our coverage here from the Louis Armstrong Stadium. Of course, no night session here tonight, so we are done and dusted. From Mark Woodford and myself, Nick Lester, we'll say goodbye for now.